I'm gonna show you five easy, effective swing comping patterns that work great for jazz and blues. This is the chord progression I'm gonna play throughout the video, and we're gonna go over these chords right now. These are all shell voicings, and if you like the sound of these chords, check out some of the videos in the description. For the A minor seven, I'm gonna play this shape, and I'm gonna place the root note on string six fret five, which is the note A. For the D7, I'll use this shape, placing the root note on string five fret five, which is the note D. For the G major seven, we'll use this shape, placing the root on string six fret three, which is the G note. For the C major seven, I'm gonna play this shape. I'll place the root note on string five fret three, which is the note C. For the F sharp minor seven flat five, we'll use this shape, placing the root on string five fret nine, which is an F sharp. For the B seven, I'll use this shape. I'll place the root note on string six fret seven, which is the note B. And for the E minor six, I'll use this shape. I'll place the root note on string five fret seven, which is the note E. I'm showing you these chords in case you want to play the examples in this video, but you don't need to know these specific chords to learn how to play the comping patterns coming up next. Freddie Green was a longtime guitarist in the Count Basie Orchestra. And if you haven't heard the Count Basie band, you need to check them out if you want to learn how to play swing. Freddie Green didn't do anything fancy. In fact, he pretty much made a career out of just playing quarter notes. But it was the way he played those quarter notes. First of all, he was just steady as a rock as far as his time. And often he played on just two or three strings, sometimes just one string. And he put a little separation between each beat. I'm creating that separation by letting up on my left hand after each beat. I'm still touching the strings, but I let up on the pressure so the chord stops ringing. Now I don't want to cut those chords too short. I want to put just enough space in between the chords so you can hear each beat clearly. And notice that I'm putting a slight accent on beats two and four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. This establishes a bit of a backbeat and it fits in really nicely when you're playing with a drummer. This is a variation of the Freddie Green style. We're still playing quarter notes, but instead of separating every chord, we're playing long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. I've been playing with a pick so far, but you can also use your fingers. In a big band setting, I tend to use pick only because I like that definition at the beginning of each chord. But in smaller settings, especially if it's just myself and a singer or I'm accompanying myself, often I'll use fingers. I'll either strum with my thumb,
or I'll pick all the notes at once with my thumb and fingers. Or if you're a hybrid picker, you could pick the bass notes with your pick and pluck the others with your fingers. So you can play all the comping patterns in this video with pick or with fingers, it's really up to you. In the Charleston rhythm, you're playing two chords per measure. You're playing on beat one and on the and of two. One and two and. One and two and. One and two and. And in this version, I'm playing all the chords short and accented. And I'm cutting the chords short by easing off on the strings with my left hand the way I showed you with the Freddie Green comping pattern. One and two and. One and two and. One and two and, one and two and, one and two and, one and two and, one and two and. If you have two chords per measure and the second chord falls on beat three, that's not a problem. Play that second chord a little early, put it on the and of two. One and two and, one and two and. One and two and. Let me do it again without my counting over the top of that. This is a variation of that Charleston rhythm. You're still hitting chords on beat one and on the and of two, but instead of playing short chords, you're playing long, short, long, short. One and two and, long, short. One and two and, long, short. And again, if you have two chords per measure, play that second chord on the and of two. One and two and. One and two and. This is yet another variation of that Charleston rhythm. This time, instead of playing short, short, or long, short, now we're playing short, long. And you're still hitting your chords on beat one and on the and of two. Short, long, short, long, one and two and. And just like the others, if you have two chords written in a measure, play the second chord on the and of two. One and two and. One and two and. These aren't the most intricate comping patterns you're ever going to play, but the goal is to set up a good groove and not necessarily to be flashy. 
Don't forget to check out the shell voicing videos linked in the description. And if you like the way these chords sound, check out my book, Three Note Jazz Guitar Chords. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips. Thank you.